Sometimes I just eat and I forget the camera's there. Literally every second that I spend talking about it, it is dying. <laughs> some Texan food. Now I've never been to Texas uh, until I was 26. I hadn't really been anywhere and Texas is far. I'm not ashamed, you know. You have to have money to travel. Hello and welcome back to Eating with Robert. Today we are in the East Village. It's a ghost town. It's a little bit fucked up. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of good stories about the East Village. One time I did walk up 3rd Avenue in my socks, my friend Max. I, I read a lot about Texas. I mean, Texas has its own taco editor uh, named Jose Relat. And I love to read Jose Relat's column on Texas tacos. Finally, in New York, it seems like we have some authentic San Antonio tacos. There's a couple here. They are committed to making handmade flour tortillas and loading them up with all kinds of delights. On Sunday morning, they have breakfast tacos, so we're gonna go check those out. I heard they have some donuts. We gotta get the breakfast tacos, of course. They might even have barbacoa, which is really, really exciting. Anyway, Manhattan, we're here. Let's go get some tacos. Vamanos. Fucking cold. But you know what? I had to get the Lone Star anyway because it's Texas, baby. You know what I like about New York? Like I said, I've never been to Texas. But, you know, I've never been to Chengdu. But I can eat a Han Dynasty right here. All right, we got migas. Migas are tacos that have uh, scrambled egg in them and they also have crispy chips. We have scrambled eggs and bacon. We have bean and cheese. This is a seemingly a typical San Antonio staple. Back here, we got vegan queso. I mean, why not? I like vegans. That's actually so good. Let's dive in. Homemade flour tortilla. You can feel the, the grit. These tortillas are really, really tasty, and I think that that is one flavor that just like carries you through the whole taco. You get like really bright umami notes from this salsa, and it's awesome. But from beginning to end, you just taste great, great tortilla. Fantastic. House cured bacon, scrambled eggs. Wow. I don't know, man. This bacon and egg taco is like the definition of pleasure. It's so good. The taste of this bacon, really, really smoky, super, super salty. I mean, they've managed to balance out, like the scrambled egg is not over salted. A lot of the salt is coming from the bacon. The bacon is like seasoning the inside of the tortilla. Holy shit. Um, banger. And finally, the San Antonio staple. This is just straight up bean and, you know, orange, American cheddar cheese. Mm. Word on the street is that these aren't your typical uh, refried beans here. These are actually made with Rancho Gordo. Rancho Gordo beans are like the, I don't know, the creme de la creme of beans. They're the beans de la beans. I just love the texture. Like, it's really, really smooth. The tortilla is really, really chewy. I don't know, when I used to get high, I used to just love chewy food. <laughs> this is chewy and creamy. I love that texture. It has great spice and it's perfectly seasoned. All right, now let's move on to barbacoa. Barbacoa is a really, really special thing in Texas and Mexico. It's really a Sunday staple. Definitely the most beautiful of the tacos. Gorgeous. This is incredible. It's, it's beef cheek. And beef cheek is one of those meats you have to cook for a long time to really break down all of the kind of tissue and fat in it. This is like so broken down, it's like melt in your mouth. And it's so beefy that it almost reminds me of like Philly cheesesteak. I hate to say that, but it's like, when you eat a Philly cheesesteak, you have all of this like creaminess going on inside and beefiness, it's all like mixed together. And this is that same thing. It has this really nice creaminess, fattiness, deep, deep, deep beef flavor. Wow, that is special. Now that I've ever had everything except the donut, I can say that what I think unites everything here is this great tortilla and a perfect level of seasoning. 
Everything is just enough salty, just enough spicy. You really have to try to pick out the flavors because it's not correct to say that it's spicy or it's just savory. Every element in each taco has a real complexity to it and it comes together just perfectly, united by a perfect tortilla. All right, Alex, shoot me in slow-mo eating food. That's good. Feels nice to make things for yourself. <laughs> Back in Ridgewood, it's way too cold in Manhattan. Uh, man, my hands were like freezing. The only thing keeping my hands warm were, were delicious flour tortillas between my fingers. God, I love tacos. I feel like I would really like Texas, but also people hang out with their shirts off too much. <laughs> I like Texas, I like Richard Linklater. If you do go to Yellow Rose, there is a heated tent. We chose to go on the unheated part because it's better lighting and better sound. Loved all the breakfast tacos and the barbacoa, only available on Sunday, so definitely go there early and get those things if that's what you're into. For me, my favorite had to be the egg and bacon. The house cured bacon was phenomenal, so, so delicious. And like I said, all the fillings, it felt like they were all seasoned really, really properly. Like the egg complemented the bacon because the bacon worked as sort of a salty seasoning for the whole taco. It was super, super good. This has been eating with Robert. <sighs> My name's Rob. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm a very particular man. You know, I gotta, I, I kinda have a process. 30 grams of coffee for a cup. 100 grams, now we mix 20 times. Just rock this right into the trash. Bang! Another 100 gram, 120 grams. A little Ethiopian, you're a chef. I get it shipped to me uh, bi-weekly. <laughs>